Well, those who have seen the interview that I just posted with John Manugian likely heard that John was the designer on the Cadillac Cimarron program. And John has quite a few stories about the overall program, its development, how it came about, the challenges that the design team faced, etc. And we're going to get into those as the subject of an entire feature length video. But we thought it would be interesting for the viewer just to tease a little bit some of John's sketch work from the Cimarron. And it's interesting because you'll see some elements that made it through to production from John's sketches, but by and large, not much did. And there are myriad reasons for that, which again, will take an entire feature length video to discuss. Now, before putting some nasty comment in the comment section, realize that John was just a person who was trying to do his job and do it as best as he could given the parameters that he faced. He essentially had to create a Cadillac from a Cavalier in nine months time when a normal program took three to four years and he was only able to change the grill, the wheels, and the taillights. That's it. Had to share a number of vehicular components including the glass, doors, roof, hoods, trunks, etc. on these vehicles. So when you lock in all those features for a designer, it's not much he or she can do. And on top of that, Cadillac was really rushing this program in such an abbreviated time period because dealers were clamoring for something to compete with the smaller German vehicles that were taking away sales. So it really was a tough position for management to be in. On the one hand, you rush something to market and admit that it's going to be imperfect, maybe even highly so, but perhaps it appeases some of the dealers in the dealer body and you continue to work on making it better over time, which is clearly what happened with the Cimarron. It did get better, especially in the latter years when it had a V6, had a little bit more ability to have its own styling, and it became relatively handsome, to be honest. So do you do that and kind of rush this to market knowing that you can keep making iterative improvements, or do you delay it and you risk uh, dealers suing you and leaving the network and defecting to other brands hampering sales, and setting you back that way. I think it would be all too easy to say that the decision that was made was the wrong one because, frankly, the other decision would have also been very challenging for Cadillac at the time. Nonetheless, let's look at some of John's early sketches for the Cimarron and stay tuned for a feature-length video detailing the program with many more sketches and bringing John back to the program. Okay, so we're just going to give the viewer a little teaser here because there's been such interest. Amazingly, the video I did on the Cimarron has something like forty or 50,000 views. Hard to believe. So, you know, what was once uh, not so cool is now en vogue, John, just so that you know. They gave me a Chevrolet and they said, make a Cadillac out of it. <laughs> and do it in what, less than 12 less months? Than, uh, yes, less right? than 12 months. And oh, by the way, all you've got is a grill and wheels and some taillights. You heard it. So... I I mean, normally cars, you heard the C&H bodies, t I mean, they were in the gestational period was four or five oh, years. Quite a while, yes. This is less than 12 months. And so. this was Cadillac in panic mode. Yeah. So here we have teaser number one. We have two teasers. John's got a whole portfolio of artwork, but that is... If, if you're familiar with David Bowie, Panic in Detroit... <laughs> This is the poster child for Panic in Detroit. I mean, at least the grill kind of made it through there, John. Well, yeah, actually, this fronted. this is pretty much the grill that, I mean, that's the car. We didn't get the, the chrome body side molding. Maybe that's just as well, but I, I was trying so desperately to get something on the car that was different than the Chevy, the Buick, the right. Oles, and the Pontiac. You had four other divisions using the identical body. And they wanted to make a Cadillac out of it. And oh, by the way, you don't have any money. <laughs> you don't need money, John. No, of course I mean, not. Come on. That, of course that not. That helps drive you making better decisions of as course a designer. Not. Yeah. And here, I mean, this is very close to the final production. Uh, yeah. Model, right? I this mean, was the blue sky approach where if you guys had a clean piece of paper, what would you do for a small Cadillac? And so I've got a whole series of sketches, which we can show later. Watch this space. Um, <laughs> where I said, okay, if we had a clean piece of paper, what would you do for a small Cadillac? 
keeping in mind what the Europeans and the Asians mm. were doing. And I'm sure that you were envisioning under hood the 1.8 liter, <laughs> 85 horsepower, four cylinder. Sewing right? machines, where, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Where, is, where does it say 1.8 liter yeah. you know, under yeah. here, right, John? Sewing machine with uh, 20 inch wheels, of course. <laughs> I can't imagine the inertia that that engine would have to get moving with those. Well, the, the flywheel wheels would do it, yeah. That's right. It wouldn't stop. It no. would just be hard to get going. Exactly. So there's a brief teaser. So, you know, John's very upfront. He, he employs the best the best defense of a good offense here. You know, I did, I was... I worked on it. I hey, worked on it. So we It's had, not my proudest moment, but it, it paid the bills. But this is what you were looking at. Yes. The clean sheet design. Yes. And we all know what John ended up with. And the next version will show you some of the things that we had looked at. Well, John, I think that was a, just a fascinating insight. And I can only, I can only thank you. Um, thank you. And I'm sure the, the viewers will as well. So Great. Thanks again for coming on. Thanks, Adam. All right. Take care. Well, thanks for watching this intro video with John Manugian on the Cimarron. Stay tuned to this space as John will show much more of his sketchwork on the Cimarron. And we'll discuss the entire program in detail. It will surely be a fun affair and time for you to watch. Until next time, be sure to check out the video thumbnails at bottom left and right. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video because you certainly don't want to miss out on a full detail length video on the Cimarron. And be sure to tune in soon. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care.